All right, what you're looking at here is a uh, Randall made unfinished kit. Something I traded for about, I don't know, about a week ago. Uh, I traded a buddy for it, for one of my knives, and thanks again, Larry, I appreciate it. Uh, this is a pretty rare bird, as far as I can tell. I personally, I'm not a big Randall, you know, I don't know, I am a big Randall fan, but I don't know a whole lot about the collecting aspects of it, so um, there's a lot of guys out there who know tons more than me. But from my limited research and my limited dealings with Randall knives, I personally have never seen another unfinished kit. Um, I'm sure they're out there, but I think it's pretty safe to say that this is a very rare thing to find. All right, uh, from my limited research, my researching abilities, I don't have access to a lot of the, you know, the, the intricacies of Randall knives, but I do have a couple books, and as close as I can tell, this is either a, a Model 15 or saw teeth, which whenever a 15 comes with saw teeth, it has uh, the 18 grind, or it's a, a Model 18 uh, from that era. I'm guessing this is around 66, 67, 1966 or 67 right in there came with the blade of course and, and the guard from what I understand you can get all um, you know different parts with the Randall kit you know you could request just the blade you could request the blade and the guard you could request handle materials so I don't know if this originally came with handle materials or not the reason I don't know if it's a 15 or an 18 is because from what I understand the early 18s had full tangs in the tube that went almost to the top of the tube. So I don't know if any of you Randall guys know and uh, want, want to uh, advise me on that, I'd appreciate it. But uh, I'm gonna build it as a 15 or a modified 15. Yeah, I, I am gonna build it. I know that probably, there's probably a lot of jaws dropping in the Randall community and I, I totally understand that. Um, but I'm a knife maker. I love knives, I love to use knives and I love Randalls, and I want to make this thing usable, functional. And so, I guess I'm not as much of a collector as I am a, just a, a guy who really enjoys knives and everything about them. Black and white primer, donkey lifter, shrunken monkey skull on my Craftsman shifter, it's my hand rod. Well, it's rolling down the road, hand rod. I hope my flathead don't explode. Well, I'm rolling down the highway at a hideous rate of speed with my hand rod, hand rod. She's one part Ford, one part Fender. Don't worry about no scratches. Don't worry about no dent. It's my hand rod. Well, I'm rolling. can't decide. This is like uh, shopping with a woman. No offense to the one woman who might be watching this video. I mean, I, <laughs> I can't decide. I wavered about 40 times on what I'm going to put on this knife. So I think I've got it, I think, I've got it nailed down to this. Uh, red, white, blue, and uh, stainless steel spacers up front. And then uh, Osage orange. And then uh, aluminum pommel. The upholstery is all custom on my old jalopy A Coca-Cola crate and a old serape It's my hand rod Well, I'm rolling down the road Hand rod I hope my flathead don't explode Well, I'm rolling down the highway At a hideous rate of speed In my hand rod Hand rod Let's go! Cause she makes her own fire It's my hand rod Well I'm rolling 
She ain't the fastest, she ain't the best, but I'm the poster child for safety at the DPS. Well, it's my Rad Rock. Well, I'm rolling down the road, Rad Rock. I hope my flathead don't explode. Well, I'm rolling down the highway at 80 as great as speed. In my Rad Rock, Rad Rock. Let's go! Jake, we're 